Hello everyone, this is Darwolf20, and welcome to episode 9 of Darwolf20's No Man's Sky series. I told you I was going to check out a planet or two in the system before I wrapped up last episode, and I did. And guess what I found? Some cool stuff. Um, first off, I want to check some things out. Yeah, we're cool. Um, so first off, I found these giant, giant things of emerald. Look at this! Remember how like much money I made with emerald? So I haven't mined it yet. I have no idea how much emerald I'll actually get for clearing out this giant thing of it. But needless to say, I was a little excited when I found it. Meanwhile, I want to check out my multi-tool. What upgrades do I have in this thing? I have the combat amplifier. Laser during combat focuses laser optics. So plus two damage, range boost, scanner's detection range. Um, that's cool. Beam intensifier. Mining beam is strengthened to speed up terrain destruction. And beam coolant. Neat. Analysis visor and bolt caster. Okay. Kind of wouldn't mind checking out what upgrade options are available, but one thing is I'm not sure. Like, how do I know if I know how to make this? Like, if I dismantle it, am I gonna, like, what? I don't know. Also, laser over here, projectile. Okay, so laser is this one, I presume? Projectile is this one? Grenade and scan. I would really be interested in what these circles around here mean. I mean, I guess one's range boost? What's the other one? I wish I knew what those Protection things mean. Alright, they're multiple protection. Calm down. Emerald! Woot. Getting lots of emerald. I'm gonna mine this thing up and then we'll see how much I get out of it. Dude, this emerald node is like huge. It's crazy. Uh, what's also interesting, which I feel like bringing up, is the outside of it, I have no problem mining, but like the center of this fire is just not breaking. So like, pretty much everything that's up here, see? not breaking at all. I don't know what the deal is with that. I don't know if I need like a better miner or something, but like pretty much like the outside edges, no problem. The inner part of it is like not breaking. I wonder, hmm, there is a multi-tool upgrade that may assist? And that's the grenade one, and I think I've got that. Um, what's this? Beam coolant system. I'm going to dismantle the beam coolant system. Optical enhancement and creature discovery. Yeah, I need that. I'm gonna dismantle this guy, and uh, I'm gonna check out. So, grenade propulsion. Plasma launcher grenades travel at high velocity. Nice. And then plasma launcher, explosive disruption grenades. Oh, this is a plasma launcher companion unit, okay. So these guys are all companion units. This is the actual plasma launcher. This creates grenades of so plutonium, heridium, and carbon. Shouldn't be a problem. Bolt caster, mining beam. So I think right click. I want to do it. I thought right click to launch grenades. Do I need to hook it up with some plutonium? While I'm here, I might as well recharge all the things. So I thought, and I'm going to check my options, controls. I thought grenades were right click, but maybe I'm wrong. Fire grenade, mouse three? So is it middle click? I know, calm down. Oh, hello. Yes, it's middle click. Incoming storm. All right, let's, uh, I mean, I could just boost my life support system, or I can just get my ship to warm up a little bit. See? Warming up. Nice. All right, so let's try... So I assume that I have to reload Plasma Launcher. How do I reload my grenade? I guess I'll just do it by itself when they're out. Okay. 
Interesting. Yeah, this middle area here just totally does not want to. Hmm. Okay, cool. Well, I'm not going to mine ammo all day. That would be a boring episode, probably. Uh, what I do want to do is pop into this cave, because it looks cool. I mean, granted, there's this big storm going on, but A, I think the cave has some plutonium. And temperature stabilizes a bit. Uh -oh. Are we cool, guys? We don't have a problem, do we? Let's send my plutonium. I have some iridium? Where did I get iridium from? Ah, what's going on? You? I bet it is. See you later, little bug. Send titanium back to the ship. All right, let me uh, warm up in my ship and then uh, also clean up my inventory and we'll be right back because there's something in there I found also that I want to check out. And boy, is it getting cold. All right, so I'm inside the cave now. This place is pretty neat. What are these green things? Unknown, interact, okay. Albumin pearl. Uh-oh. Look at the top right. I think I angered the Sentinels. Elite Sentinel Force. Elite Sentinel Force. Temperature levels stabilizing. There's three little dots up there. I don't know what that's all about. I'm assuming that's like the Sentinels being angry at me. I guess they don't like me taking these albumin pearl things, whatever they are. Temperature levels stabilizing. Weather update. Storm clearing. Who are you? I don't know, but I don't like you. Neat. So my shield's getting a little bit low, and I'm not loving that idea. Also, there's more bad guys up there. Alright, Sentinel Force is deactivated, so that's cool. I killed them all. Picking up any loots I might have gotten from this. I think I got it all. Well, that's neat. Ooh, milestone accomplished. Are these things all... What's up? Oh, cool, more albumin pearls. Well, before I pick them up, let's see what my actual speed's doing. So they don't stack with each other. But they're worth decent amounts of money? Alright, temperature, chill out. So, I mean, there's lots of albumin pearls here, which is cool. I just don't have a lot of shielding right at the moment. They're worth decent money, but I don't want to fill up my inventory with them. I'm going to save a couple free slots here. I mean, they're worth decent money. They're not worth, like, holy cow money, right? So. Starship, are you cool with what I just sent you? Yeah, you're good. I mean, granted, that frees up a few slots, but can I move you? Yeah, nice. Interesting. I wonder if I'm actually making progress on this thing. No, maybe not. Thought for a minute I might be, but... Okay. Let's, uh, blast off. Thank you. See if I can find anything cool nearby to explore. Come back if I find something good. So I think I'm going to check out this moon that seems to be orbiting this planet. Because it looks cool. Mostly I'm just delaying my decision to check out the black hole or follow the path of Atlas. Because I haven't figured out which way I want to go yet. So I'm being totally honest with you guys, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, this place is neat. No, down, down. What do we got?
out over here, a little settlement of some kind. Whoosh. Well, that's good. Weather clear, sentinels average, flora barren, fauna deficient. Okay, that's not a big deal for me. A little bit of plutonium hanging around. Which is good. I think, by the way, oh yeah, what's up? Grenades can destroy landscape. That is cool. All right, let's discover this little landmark thing and check out this building. It's got one of those orange beacon thingies, which is always nice. Fascination bead. Suspecting a multi-tool upgrade available. Nice support power. No. All right, all right, I get the point. Uh, I'll use my power canister. Bypass chip. I'm gonna go with, um, the settlement thing, I think, right? Shelter, yeah. Shelters are the ones that I think tend to be the things that give you upgrades. So that's one shelter. Two-minute walk, which ain't bad. I'm gonna do another one too. Drop pod detected. Nice. That's what's up. I'm gonna snag some of this plutonium. Cuz I think I have to recharge my engines. Launch thrusters, plutonium. Technology recharge. Let's go check out that upgrade mission. Let's go this way. Come on. So this is the shelter and that's the drop pod. Let's check out the shelter first. Like I said, still not great at landing, am I? Holy cow. Oh cool, there's one of those atlas things. Finally I can use this key I got, right? Electron vapor, nice. I can go towards making uh, some stuff, Geknip. I'm gonna go sell at the starship, or the space station in a minute. Unless of course the shelter happens to have a trading spot on it. That would be nice. Is that about it? Oh, another one of these things. All right, cool. Let's uh, jump back in our ship. I want to go get that slot upgrade. Then I'll probably off camera um, go sell my stuff. And maybe we'll look at uh, doing a jump and deciding whether I'm going to go for the black hole, which will send me closer to the center of the galaxy, which is apparently my destination. Or I want to follow Atlas's guidance. I haven't figured out yet which of those two I want to do. Oh, look, there's a decent sized settlement right ahead of me. I'm gonna check that out too off camera. So, just out of curiosity, how much will this cost? Will it be like, what, 30 I think I'm up to? I think it's an extra 10,000 every time. That's been the pattern thus far. Nice. Yeah, 40. Okay. Cool. I'll take it. Absolutely. Inventory slots are very much worthwhile. All right, off camera, little exploration, star base, back if I find something cool. Otherwise, I'll be back when I get to the star base and sell all my stuff. 
Check it out, guys. It just broke one million units. Yeah. Sell that emerald, too, because that's just money. As far as I know. Emerald might be used for something. There's a lot I haven't figured out yet. There's a lot I haven't discovered yet, as far as I know. So that's cool. All right. So now for the ultimate decision. Do I head for that black hole, which will apparently warp me closer to... Oh, cool. Journey milestone. To the, to the center of the galaxy. Or... Do I follow the Atlas Guidance thing? I think I want to take the black hole. I want to, like, go deeper into the galaxy. I don't know if that means there's better stuff out there. But, like, the Atlas path, I kind of feel like I know what's going to happen. I'm going to find another one of those Atlas things. It's going to give me one of those rocks. Not sure what it's for. No real clear direction there. But, you know, that's cool. Um, however, following the path to the black hole seems a little bit more fun to me. So let's do that. Engaging hyperdrive. And we're gonna explore some planets along the way and see what we come up with. I mean, I, I would really like to soon be able to get a better ship. Um, it seems like every time I find a ship, and I feel like this is the case, we wind up with a plus or minus one inventory slot. So I feel like it would take a while, like, you know, finding ships and getting new stuff. Look at this system. Do a quick scan. Oh boy, I'm getting attacked. Oh boy, I'm getting attacked. Who's attacking me? Are you attacking me? Who's hostile? Uh, distress signal, huh? I wonder if I can save these dudes. Are these pirates? That's cool. Oh yeah, there's a distress signal going on. See if I can save this guy, huh? Not that my last experience with combat was at all in a good shape, but, I mean, one can only hope. Now, I've heard that this is a pretty good way to go. Nice. Yeah, that mining team's definitely the way to go. Gotcha. Take that, dude. Definitely need more maneuverability on these ships. Ow, shields down. Gotcha. Is there anything I can do about this? Oh, I can give it zinc? Iron? Heck yeah. Nice. That's what's up. Alright, are you guys uh, in better shape here? No, I think this guy is also a pirate. Alright, so I can recharge my deflector shield with iron. That's extremely useful information. I assumed my shields were like close to spaceship shields that just take time to recharge a little bit. And I assume, by the way, right now I'm killing pirates. I really am not clear on that. Attacking ships remaining on the bottom right. Cool. All right, 15 attacking ships remaining. Hopefully these guys will be my friends for saving them. Guessing they're all down. Oh boy, that is some bright, that's a bright sun right there, isn't it? Local enemy destruction. Now what if I did photon cannons to you? Photon cannons better? I feel like I can handle this just a little bit better. Nice. Deflector shield, uh, titanium, why not? I don't want to attack the ship by mistake. Looks like I just have a little bit of uh, fighting to do right now. So how about I come back in a moment 
after I've gotten these fighter ships down to a lower number. Because this is going to be a little repetitive, I think, for you guys to watch at this point. What is this blue glowy thing on here? Some kind of loots? Oh, nice. Aluminum. Cool. And gold. I guess that was loot. Oh, cool. My standing with the Gek has increased. Uh, neat. I think I just won the battle. There were two ships left, and then they're not there anymore. So I don't know if they fled because whatever, but... Wait, is that one? Maybe they, maybe they escaped. But look, my, my armor is down to, like, one. And I legitimately don't know how to fix that. Uh, yeah, nothing in here indicates armor. I used up all the yellow resources I have, by the way, fixing my shields. So we're definitely going to want more, like, titanium and stuff. But, uh, yeah, there's a space station nearby, right? That would be super cool. Space station proximity is about a minute away. Let's go dot. Because my shield's low, I only have one armor left. I'm going to dock and see how, how and if to repair my ship. Alright, docking. Cool. I feel like I destroyed more than five. Okay, destroyed ten. <laughs> now we're docking. First things first, let's see if I can get more inventory slots again. Nice! Absolutely want another slot here. This is cool. 50,000 this time. No problemo. I assume this door... Yep, B3. But hey, I got what I wanted. Multi-tool in here anywhere? Nah, that's it. Alright, let's go check out what's going on across the hall. Uh, I can at least sell stuff and maybe buy more titanium. And maybe check out the planets and see if I can't find some more resources. Because I just learned a good use for those yellow resources. And that is to recharge my shields when they get damaged. Anybody home? Neat place. I'm gonna say nobody's home. Locked door, I presume? Yep. Alright, trading time. What do I have on my character? Sell items from your inventories. Um, I don't think I have anything in my inventory but Starship. I picked up a bunch of aluminum, which... Yeah, that's not bad. Um, I guess I'll sell because I don't you think I need it for received. anything. Bunch of gold, bunch you of emerald. Nice. While I'm at it, I would like to look at my starship inventory. Let's move this stuff out of here. What can I make? Um, so weapon technology. There's definitely a few things that I can do to increase beam impact theta. That's plus four damage, but that requires Omegatron and a Vortex Cube. Neither of those things do I know anything about. Um, I liked the beam weapon because it was like auto-focused. Micro-density fabric. That should be makeable. I imagine I can make that, right? Do I know how to make micro-density fabric? I do. It's platinum and iron. Not a problem. Cool. So I can increase my beam damage. Um... Beam coolant. Nice. That's cool. So basically, plus one damage, it looks like. And there's a bunch of them for the pro proton cannon thing, but I liked the beam better because it was auto lock on, right? Uh, now for shielding, deflection enhancement theta, deflector shield companion unit. Starship energy shield is strength and provides added protection from laser fire, in play projectiles, and accidental space debris. Cool. And this is um, pretty much the same thing. Oh, and it uses emerald. Neat. <laughs> There's something that I need emerald for. I don't know what the difference between these two things is. It's really just saying plus one and it's the shield symbol. And then scan and hyperdrive. I don't know any upgrades for them yet. So I wouldn't mind getting a shield upgrade slot. Um, but yeah, let's pop down to the planets that are in the system and see what I can find. There's also a couple places that I would like to check out. Oh, look, there's ships here. Let's talk to these dudes and see what they know. What's up, broker? Yeah, we're buddies now. I just saved you guys from a uh, crazy thing. Uh, how much for your ship? So it's an 18 slot ship and you want 410,000 units? Uh, 
don't know if I'm keen on that. Well, that's cool. Phase coolant, phase coolant, tau, phase coolant, sigma, phase beam. That might not be a bad ship to check out, to be honest with you. And it's 18 slots compared to my current ship, which is 15 slots. Should I buy this dude's ship? I'm kind of interested in it. I'm gonna hold off for now. Don't go nowhere though, okay? Don't leave. So that was 18 slots. Ooh, this is 21 slots, but it's 800,000 units. That's almost all my money. But, oh, and the other ship's leaving. I told you not to leave. Oh, look at that cool ship behind it. That is cool. Pulse engine, hyperdrive. You could use a little bit of thomium and some plutonium, to be honest with you. Um, 21 slot inventory. That's kind of cool. I feel like this might be a worthwhile investment, right? 800,000 units, though. That's a lot of money. Warning, transfer items before accepting. Right. Um, so this thing has phase beams. It also has beam impact sigma, so it, it definitely shoots pretty well. Um, pulse engine, hyperdrive, shield enhancement sigma. So this thing has better shields, better damage. And 21 slots versus 15. I think I'm gonna do it. Right? Um, now I believe that I can actually break. This will give me a little bit of stuff, but it's such a small amount. Like if I wanted to, I could destroy some of these things. But yeah, I think it's time to get a new ship. 21 slots is hard to pass up. Wish I could rearrange these slots. It annoys me how they're like spaced out like that. But that's just me being annoyed at silly things. Um, oh, hold on. Am I out of plutonium? I'm assuming that I have some on my character, right? I just want to make sure. No. Where's all my plutonium? I kind of want your ship. But I also don't want to be stuck on the space station. <laughs> um, all right, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna assume that I can buy plutonium from the space station, and I hope I'm correct on that. But six extra slots is hard to pass up. Um, plus, slightly better shields and definitely better weapons. So I'm on board. Let's do it. Hey, I am now the proud owner of a ship. Haha, -ha, cool. Curiosity, what are you? I mean, it's kind of too late, but... I got 22 slots, but see, even more money. Yeah, no, I'm good with what I got. Get some plutonium so I can launch and then uh, take care of some things. So, plutonium, I hope. Ah, good. Not a whole lot, is it? that and hopefully I can charge my ship's launch thrusters with it no I cannot plutonium only huh Hopefully, this amount is enough. 
I will sell that power as a back. I think some of these plants might have a little carbon. Okay. Well, oh, just carbon it looks like. That's not helping me too much. Am I gonna get my uh, ship to 25%? Technology recharge. You know these traders might also have some plutonium. Hey, you, you wanna you wanna trade? Mining overseer. Well, if he's a miner, he would hopefully have plutonium. Oh yeah, he does. It's a little expensive, but it's worth the ability to take off. Technology recharge. I don't even know if it costs plutonium to take off from here, but I want to make sure I have some in the ship. Oh yeah, it doesn't even cost plutonium to take off from a space station. That's interesting. Well, let's go to this planet. Pulse engine offline. I think I've got thomium now. Technology recharge. There we go. Hey, what was that all about? Local enemy distortion. Where's our enemy? Let's go, enemy. That's where there's the manufacturing plant, by the way. Oh, neat. Look at this. Holding shift? What's doing that? Something in this uh, thing lets me hold shift. What is that looking thing? Oh, copper. Neat. I've been looking for copper. Photon cannon, I would like to charge you. Oh, I collected some thomium. <laughs> Photon cannon. It's interesting. I have the phase beam. This is the photon cannon, but it doesn't look like I have the ability to click it to activate it. Well, let's uh, head to this planet. I'll meet you guys up once I get to the planet and see what it's all about. All right, guys, checking out a nifty little planet that I just found. And there's a manufacturing facility here, which teaches me how to make something new that might be useful. And uh, I'm basically going to check this place out. Hopefully there's uh, plutonium on this planet. Copious amounts of flora. That's nice. Nice. Corvax Convergence food. What is that thing? Eh. Trade commodity. Used. Cool. Let's uh, save real quick here. All right, we're gonna check out what trade commodity we learned, and then what I'll probably do is wrap up the episode and explore this planet a little bit, try and recollect some resources that I no longer have, because I just spent a lot of them um, repairing my shields and stuff, and if I got more titanium and zinc, I'd be very pleased. Um, and more plutonium, obviously. Yay, a little bit. Oh, steel reinforced door. Sorry, Sentinels, you're not going to be happy with me. Sentinel combat unit deployed. I'm sure it was. Hiding behind a cactus, are we now? Neutrino module. Hiding behind this base so that you can call reinforcements, you sneaky little devil. I'm supposed to be wrapping up my episode here. You're not supposed to be hiding like that. Uh-oh. He's calling for friends. Are we cool? Alright, that was a close one. 
but I think we're good. Nice. Alright, let's, uh, reload this dude. I'm gonna anger the sentinels again, but usually I've found that once I hide inside, they're cool. But maybe I'll kill them anyway, because I could use the titanium. Take all these upgrades too. Neutrino module, Sentinel Force deactivated. My shields are low. Is there a way to fix them? I don't see one. I'm hopefully not completely derping on this. I'm gonna send my stuff back to my ship. Morning lights flash and a timer ticks down? Uh... Sure... Uh-oh. Shield down. Unstable plasma, that's cool. I take damage? Get out of there. Temperature levels stabilizing. Well, I guess I did something cool. I kind of feel like we should get out of here. All right, so I'm going to wrap up the episode. Uh, we will come back next time, obviously, and uh, do some good old stuff. What I do want to do for now is uh, get some plutonium. So I'm just going to do some resource collection, and if I find anything really interesting, we'll check it out next episode. For now, Dial 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.